Hello everybody, it's DK with RPM Gaming, where as the name suggests, we talk about retro PC and mobile gaming. Now I'm sure by now everybody knows that RetroArch is on the iOS App Store. And that being said, I wanted to show you guys some of the customization that you can do inside the app. Things like adding your own background music, adding new box art, changing the icons on the menu, you know, stuff to really liven up the app. So with that being said, let's get started. So when you load RetroArch for the very first time, it looks pretty bland. So what you want to do is go over to settings, go down to drivers, select menu, and go down to XMB. Select that and then back out of RetroArch and close the app. And then when you open the app back up, you've got a brand new menu look. Next we'll add a few menu sounds and a little background music. So to do that, go to settings, audio, Scroll down to menu sounds, turn on the mixer and any of the menu sounds you'd like, as well as the BGM. And there you have it, a little background music. Next, let's change our icon theme. So to do that, go to user interface, go down to appearance, and scroll down to icon theme. I'm using the controller to control the RetroArch, but if you're just using a tablet or your phone and the touch screen, you may have to back out of RetroArch in order to get your theme to show up. When you restart it, the theme should show up. So I'm just going to scroll through a few of these, and I'm going to go with the... Uh, let's go with the Retro System theme. Next, let's add a background image. So go to Appearance, scroll down to Background Image, and your background images will need to be in the PNG format. If they're not, you can always find a converter online to convert them. You'll need to save your image in the iOS file system. So go to your Files app, and then go to your RetroArch folder. Select Assets. And I saved mine in the XMB since that's the menu theme that we're going with. Now let's head back over to RetroArch and set our image. So background image, scroll down to where you saved it at, which is XMB for us. Scroll down to your image and select your image. Now you've got your custom background. Now let's add a little bit of dynamics to our background. So scroll up to Shader Pipeline, select that, and then here are all your dynamic backgrounds. You've got your ribbon that's simplified. You can see it a little bit in the background there. We've also got snow, simple snow. And regular snow is more of the heavy snow. And my personal favorite, bokeh. This makes it a little easier to see the menu. Next, let's add a little box art to our titles. We have some titles that have art and some that don't. Well, that just don't look good. So what you want to do is download some box art. You can download it from anywhere you want as long as it's in the .png format. I get mine from liberto.com, which is where RetroArch automatically pulls from and it's also already in the PNG format. So if you want to do it from here, just select your system, select named box arts, and then locate your game title. Once located, select it, and download the box art. You'll want to save it in your iOS Files app. So select Save to Files, and then select On My iPhone, and then scroll down to RetroArch. Once in there, scroll down to the Thumbnails folder. Select the system you're downloading for, and then save your box art in that system folder, under the Named Box Arts folder. And there you have it. Now let's head back over to RetroArch and rename our game to match the file we just downloaded. The names will have to match exactly down to the letter, except for the .png on the end of the title. Once you've got it exact, hit the enter button and back out. If it doesn't show up automatically, scroll over one column and then head back and it should appear just like it's supposed to. Now let's add some custom background music to our menu. Head on back to the iOS Files app and select RetroArch, Assets, and then scroll down to Sounds. Under Sounds, you'll see the BGM file right there at the top. 
Any custom music you add will have to be in the .ogg format. It will also have to be named BGM or it will not play. I just created an extra folder in here for the custom BGM music that I wanted. I also copied and pasted the original BGM track inside of here as well. Once you have your music saved, select your track and then copy it. Now let's back out to the sounds menu, select the current BGM track, and then delete it. Now you're able to paste the one you just copied. Select that track and now change the name to BGM. Now let's head back over to RetroArch. Settings, scroll down to Audio, and then down to Menu Sounds. Now turn off the BGM, and then turn it back on. And now we have our custom background music. You can also adjust the volume by backing out into the audio menu and scrolling down to Mixer Volume again. And now we've got RetroArch looking and sounding like we like. Today's Retro Rewind is Castlevania Aria of Sorrow on the Game Boy Advance. Coming to us from all the way back in May of 2003. This Castlevania is a little different as it is set in the year 2035 instead of the usual medieval time period. You play as Soma Cruz who has a unique gift of copying the enemy's abilities, which is called the Tactical Soul System. The main weapons are swords and daggers instead of the more traditional Castlevania whips. This is an action-adventure game with role-playing game elements. Upon the game's release, it didn't go over too well in Japan, only selling 27,000 copies in the first month. In the USA, however, it sold more than 158,000 copies in the first three months. What can we say? We love our Metroidvania-style games. So if you're looking for a new map to conquer, another character to level up, and more items to unlock, check out Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the last video on the Galileo G8 and how you can use it with any phone case. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next time. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time on RPM Gaming.